and welcome to another tutorial by Barkley for you. And in this video, we are going to show you how you make a Luna's White Sanctified Dog Collar. Uh, we absolutely love this pattern, so we really had to share this with you. Hope you enjoy. Uh, yeah, let's get started. So as you can see, I've already done the cosmetic. If you don't know how to do this, I'm just going to link it up right in the corner so you can take a look at how we did this. Um, I've also already got the cord ready to go. So we're going to use some red, some black and some charcoal gray diamond for this specific color. I'm going to start off by taking our colors and adding them to the cosmetic. As you can see, I'm using a paracord fit. Um, if you want to do more dark colors, I really suggest getting one. It just makes it so much easier. To add this color to the cosmetic, we're just going to open the cosmetic up a little bit so we can actually go through the same loop we used for the buckle and for the ring. So we're going to go right through there. Then we're just going to go ahead and pull it right through until we've got the middle at the top. You can do this by just taking both ends and then pulling it through. Once you've found the middle, you can go ahead and add the next color. Uh, keep in mind that depending on the order you add the colors, the outcome is going to be different. Um, yeah, I'm just going to show you here on this finished dark color what, um, yeah, what color we're adding next. So you have an idea of what the finished product is actually going to look like. So now you're just going to take the next color and this time we're going to go through these two loops. Um, as you can see in a second, you really want to push them aside and then go through the loop around the back and then from behind through the loop again. So you end up in the front. Uh, sounds complicated, but as you can see, it's really, it's really not that complicated. Now we need to find the middle again, so we're going to do it the same like last time. We're just going to take the ends and then pull it through until both sides have the same length. And the next color we're going to add is going to be this middle cord. So um, again, I'm going to use the paracord fit and this time we're going to do exactly the same that we did the last time. We're going to go through the loops around the back and then from behind, pull it back through the loop to the front. Um, yeah, so just repeat the last step. Um, one more important thing, you want to make sure it's on top of the other cord we pulled through the same loop. After that, you want to find the middle again, take both ends, pull it through until, yeah, everything is done. All the colors are in the cosmetic and we can actually start creating this beautiful pattern. One more thing to mention, uh, after opening the cosmetic to add the colors, you always want to make sure to close it before you actually start making the pattern. Also, this is the last chance for you to actually check if you still have the same length um, because when you open the cosmetic, it can happen that uh, the length changes. So you really want to go ahead and uh, measure if you've still got the same length you need for your dog. We are always using jigs to make our dog collars. That is this wooden structure. Um, if you want to do more dog collars, I would again really suggest getting one or even building one by yourself. It just helps to bring more tension on the cord, and um, yeah, the the pattern is gonna look it's gonna look a little bit better if you use it. Now, what's really going to help with the pattern is to actually put the cord where it belongs. So um, we're going to go ahead and take the cord that's going to be for the rim or for the sides and put them to the left and to the right side. And the cords we're going to use for the middle of the pattern, they're going to go to the top. Um, this is always the position we want to start with when we start making this pattern. Now we're going to use with the cord that we use for the cosmetic and we're going to start with the right side. You want to go under the middle cord and over the left middle cord, just like that. 
Then we're gonna take the left side and we're gonna go again under the left middle chord and then over the right middle chord, just like that. So the two chords are supposed to cross each other in the middle. Now we're gonna take the second rim color and again we're gonna start with the right side. We're going under the middle, around the cross and then through the loop on the right side. Now let's do the same thing with the left side. So we're again gonna go ahead, take the left side, go underneath the middle, around the cross and through the loop on the left side this time. It should be looking like this. Now let's go ahead and add the midsection. Um, as you can see here, on this finished dog collar, we're going to add these two sections to our new dog collar. Um, again, we're going to start with the right side and we're going to actually start with the middle piece. So we go above the middle, around it and then out to the right side. Let's go ahead and do the same with the left side. So we're going to take the middle of the chord again, go around the middle and then out to the left side this time. For the next step, we're going to take the second middle color that is nearer to the rim and just going to do the same thing. Go over the middle and then out to the right side. We're going to do the same with the left side, so we're going to go over the middle and then out to the left side. It's important that you put the cords in the right place, so as you can see here we want the red to be in the middle, so this charcoal grey needs to go on the left side of it. Now we just pull the knot together. Uh, for the best result you want to pull the sides to the side and the middle part upwards. As you can see here, it may happen that these parts cross each other. Uh, you really want to make sure that they lie neatly next to each other. Once this is done, you can again go ahead and put the cords for the middle up again and the sides to the sides, so we can start with the second knot. This is what the pattern should be looking like. For the second knot, we're going to start with the right side again, so grab the cord we use for the cosmetic, go under the right side of the middle and over the left side of the middle, and then with the left side under the left side of the middle and over the right side of the middle. Now we take the second cord, go under the middle, over the middle and out on the right side through the loop. Let's go ahead and do the same thing with the left side, we go under the middle, over the middle and through the left loop. For the middle part we're going to go ahead and grab this red cord, go over the middle and then out through the right side. Do the same with the left, go over the middle and then out to the left side. Then grab the next middle color and again go over the middle and then out to the right side. Then we're going to do the same with the left side, go over the middle and then out to the left side. And we're done again, so we can go ahead and pull this knot together, the sides to the sides and the middle upwards. Make sure to pull tightly uh, so you get the best result. We're just going to continue doing this pattern until you reach the end of the dog collar. It should be looking something like this. You can turn it around to take a look if you can recognize any mistakes and if not, we can actually go ahead and weld the cord together. 
But before we can do that, we actually have to take the power cord and go back through the cosmetics. So um, if you use it for a long time, the pattern is not just gonna gonna loosen up. Um, you can use a paracord fit for this. You don't have to, but it makes it easier. So we're gonna start by actually bringing the paracord to the back of the dog collar. We do this by just pushing the paracord through the cosmetic. Repeat the step for every chord. To really secure the dog collar, you want to go ahead and actually thread the cord through the pattern uh, so it sits really tightly before we actually weld it. Once you brought all of the cords to the back of the dog collar and you threaded them through the pattern so everything sits nice and secure, you can go ahead and grab your scissors and cut very closely to the dog collar. Grab a lighter and then just go ahead and weld the cord to the other cord. You want to be careful here because it gets really really hot so maybe use the scissors to actually flatten this out. You really want to push the edges down flat um, not only is it more comfortable for your dog but it's also more secure. And we're done. I think it turned out pretty amazing. I absolutely love this color combination. Um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. We would really appreciate it. And if you want to see more paracord dog color tutorials, then don't forget to subscribe to our channel and I will catch you in the next video. Bye bye.